Welcome to the Auslink Mobile Pro demonstration for picking lot-based items. During this demonstration, we'll pick a sales order from my iOS device, and the sales order contains an inventory item that is lot controlled. So here we can see the sales order itself has two line items on it. If we switch over to Auslink Mobile Pro, I can scan or type in the sales order number. Auslink will look up that order number inside of NetSuite, create a walking path for me based on the bins that this item is stored in within my warehouse. And now I can either scan an item or I can click on the item on the device. Here we'll see my first item, which is that lot controlled inventory item. So the first thing Auslink is going to look for is the lot number, which can be scanned or manually entered, the quantity of the item that you're going to be picking, and verification of the bin you're picking the item from. Again, this could be scan or manually input. Once I've scanned that item, Auslink will bring me to the next item within that order. I can click on that item, enter my quantity, scan the bin. If at any point I make a mistake during the process, Auslink is certainly going to let me know that. Here I can see I've got a warning message. If I click on that, I can understand that in this case I've scanned an invalid bin. Let's go back. Let's fix that. We'll put in the correct bin number and click Save. And Auslink will update NetSuite real time with the status of this particular inventory pick. Let's go back and take a look inside of NetSuite what that looks like. In NetSuite, if I refresh the browser, we'll see the status change reflected uh, on this sales order. And if I want to drill in and see more detail or more information, I can look under History and here is the item fulfillment that Auslink Mobile Pro created. This will validate for me the items, quantities, even bins that the items were picked from. For more information, please visit ozdevelopment.com.